Hi there, I'm Graham from Workmaster. Today we're going to show you some proper edging techniques using our equipment. The project we're working on is a narrow hallway. So with traditional equipment, this would be a challenge. You would have to do a lot of work on your hands and knees with an edger. We want to show you a better way to do that. If you notice here, this piece of equipment, it represents what our stand-up machines are. You'll see this is where all the cutting heads are, all eight of them. And you'll see how they can get close to the wall within an eighth of an inch. So this is the piece of equipment we want to use to do this project. However, there are a couple of challenges you want to be aware of. First of all, you notice if we were to take the machine and run it straight up and down along the wall, the, the two wheels cutting here in this straight line is also cutting here on this side those marks would be transferred over. So if you just go straight up and down, you'll get what we see here, a bit of a line carved into the middle of the floor. We want to avoid that. So instead of having it square to the wall, the first thing we want you to be aware of is to clock the machine just a little bit. We can still cut with to that eighth inch gap, but now you notice these wheels are not directly lined up behind each other. So it'll diffuse these marks. You won't get that straight line carved into the floor. The other thing, and we'll demonstrate it in just a moment, it will be a fluid motion, gentle loops as we're moving the machine down the hallway. It'll get everything done without, without scarring the concrete. It'll give you a perfect surface to polish. So we wanted to stop at this point in our 30-40 cut. I wanted to show you what happens when you've got a low spot uh, along the edge. That can be a tricky point to get to. Uh, what will happen is the machine can't quite get down to take out the scratches in that low point. What you have to remember is you've got to take a, the concrete all the way around it down to that elevation. So your two options are take more time with the machine as we were showing, flatten the floor out all the way around or take a smaller handheld unit and profile that with a smaller piece of equipment. The thing to remember about doing that is every grit, every cut that you go up through, you have to do it all by hand. Usually, if you can do it, you're better off to take the machine and profile it, flatten that floor with the big machine. Once you do that, on the first cut, every cut after that is so much easier. One of the challenges you'll run into when edging is what do you do around door jams and into the corners because the wheels can't cut in there. So a tool that will help you with that is a little oscillating tool like this. We have a, a rasp attachment that would be for your coarse grinding to remove any paint or contamination. And then once you've got that done, you can put on your Velcro backer and any of our resins all through the tooling we can work up. Uh, through the tooling like that, that goes on there, that'll allow you to do your fine detail work. 